Hello, welcome to our Wednesday webinar, the last one in the year 23. So in this webinar, you see how to plan a wardrobe. You see here with an open side and a 90 degree angle to each other. Yeah, and here we have here an open side and here no back. Now we will see step by step how to plan this. You see also we have here a cutout. It's called cutout here yeah, when we let appear the room. You see here the doors and we will plan step by step these both cabinets. Yeah, that is a second cabinet and now I turn to the mode and we click on file and start a new project. So we also activate here our smart clicks and first of all we type in the measurements. I ah, know we start actually with a cutout. So we click here on a room tab and here we define our cutout. It should have a width of 2, two meter 50 and a depth of two meter, uh, 1 meter. So we just dragging and dropping it here on this wall and the width of the room is here 4 meter. And this is all right. Yeah, when we have set our room, then we can click here on our cabinet and we change the distance to the back to one meter. So it's 1000 millimeter. So, and then we type in the width of the cabinet is Two meter fifty, and it's all right. So the next step is we go here on a cabinet tab, and our back is flat, and it has a distance to the side of zero millimeter. So now we turn off the plinth. And we want to have on the left side a trim and on the right side a trim. So, and the trim on the right side has, has a width of 478 mil. Yeah, later on it will become, it will become the visible side from our left cabinet. So the uh, visible side, the left visible side from this cabinet. Yeah, you will see later on. Yeah, last but not least, we see we have here an offset of two mil. We wanna have it here flush to front. All right, when this is done, we can go to the division tab and here we set two verticals and we want to have a width of the right area of 959 and then we have here two horizontals and these three areas they are related in relation one to three to one to each other. That means we zoom in this area, go here on a smart click, and here we change the height and we type in number three and confirm it with enter and then they are related in relation one to three to one to each other. Yeah. When there are any questions, just let me know in the chat. I keep looking 
on it. All right. So now we add here two verticals on the top and bottom. And then we go to the front tab and here we add a left door here. Yeah, this both, oh, I just wanted to have Just wanted to have one door so we can delete it and I just wanted to add the node um, here we can keep it individually yeah, with a, uh, when you have here when you have interior drawers or other divisions you can make yourself yeah the, we are focusing today on uh, on the construction, how we plan this two cabinets where the fronts are have a 90 degree angle to each other. So after we have set here the doors, we are adding here the drawers. I just check that we have here the movendo and then we drag it and drop it in this area. So, and then we are pretty much done with the first cabinet. Now we see we need to remove uh, the side here, but only in the middle area. That's why we click here on the smart click on the area and here we go in the setting of the area and here we can change some details and here we go a bit down yeah, and here you see it's area open to side we type in number one it means here yes save it and you see now we have here an open area so that is it last but not least we remove the handles we just go here on the handle drop down menu and type in no handles and they all disappear and then we go here on the material tab and we add here the materials here yeah, for the fronts and for the side panels and then we want to have here for the other panels and for the back also an 18 mil back panel yeah then we are already done with the first cabinet yeah now we are going to our second cabinet. And first of all, we need to know uh, the position. Yeah. So we need to have it here on this point. Yeah, that's why we keep the control button pressed. And we see here the point, the X value, the Y value, and the Z value. We can here also click on it. Yeah, and we can measure this distance from here. Yeah, and then we see um, the distance in X and Y direction. So the distance in X is 2022 and in Y direction is 1000. 950. So we can note this or keep this in mind and we click OK. But here uh, I forgot to change here the depth of the cabinet. It should be 600. Yeah, it doesn't matter so much. Yeah, now it's changed from here the distance 
from 1950 to 1900. So we go here on a cabinet tab and we type in here distance left 1900 and here distance to back 2022. Yeah, when we have here, when it's not correct, we can change it later on as well. Yeah, so and now we also need to measure here this distance. Yeah, that are seven four hundred seventy-eight. So we also need to consider the fronts. That's why the depth is here four hundred fifty-nine. So and the width of it, it comes here also from this point to this point. Yeah, always when I'm measuring it, I keep the control button pressed. Yeah, we have here 600. Yeah, we can confirming it with enter and we type in here with 600. So then we are done here and we just drag it and drop it here on the left wall. Yeah, please pay attention that you are with your mouse arrow here directly on the left wall. So now we see our cabinet in here. Yeah, it's already looking good so far. And we can here also click on a red eye to turn everything off. And we activate here the second cabinet. So here the same. Yeah, we want to have not a groove back. We want to have a flat back, rotate uh, distance to side, it's zero. And we don't want to have uh, plinths. And here we go in division. Uh, first of all, we have here on the right side also a trim. And then we go on division. And here we have two horizontals. And on the top, we have a double door. And on the bottom area, we have three drawers. Now we remove the handles again. And we set Here's a, the trim to, to the front. Yeah, we use here the flush to front function. Yeah, it's going automatically. And this is always here on the trim on top of the cabinet. Yeah. All right. So here on the left side, that is what I meant. We don't need to have a visible side because when we activate everything, yeah, you see the visible side here for this cabinet is the same like the trim for the first cabinet on the right side. All right, yeah, I think that is clear so far. And what we're gonna do now is we go to the material tab and here I activated also the checkbox, all parts of one group. Here we want to have the Agar 702 for the sides. 
and the 963 for everything else. Yeah, I forgot about here the back. It also should have the material 707, 702. And here in the middle area, we want to remove the back so that we can look through it. So we just click here on the smart click for this area, go here in the setting and here we go down with the keyboard and here we can remove the back. One means remove back and we save it. And you see, we can now look through it. Yeah. So what you also notice is that we have here a gap and it doesn't look so nice. That's why we need to pay attention for this. Yeah, first of all, we zoom a bit out. We check this here as well. Yeah, here I, I think I didn't use the right parameters, but it doesn't matter so much. Um, we can also measure it ourselves. So that's why, first of all, we are um, fixing this part. Yeah, and therefore, to um, change here the, the setting of the spec, we need to lift this up 18 mil and this we need to shorten 18 mil. Yeah, that is going through this edge and it needs to be to here. Yeah, that's why we go here in a smart click for the bottom area. And here we go in a setting. And here we can change the distance back to top. Here we want to have minus 18, so it's going up 18. And to the right side, we want to shorten it 18 because it's going to the uh, edge. Yeah, when we have done this, yeah, you see now it's here on the same level. And that is also how we want to have it. So. So we need to do this here for the for the top area as well. I just check it. Yeah, here we need to go here in this area for the top and here we go to the right side and type in 18. We're gonna to save it. So And now I, uh, we are measuring here this distance. Yeah, so here that is 18, that is our right. And we need to have here 25 mil more. So, and therefore, as it is, now I know why. Um, that is actually right. 
we need to click here because we want to have a back a gap to the back of 25. So now we have here the uh, gap and that is all right. Yeah, here we just need to extend the back or the side. It doesn't matter. Yeah, you can click on here and say overlap to back 18. Yeah, then this gap is closed. So it is all right. Yeah, that looks how we want to have it. And that is also all right. Yeah, we just need to close this gap. That means we click here on the red cross and change the distance to the left. And we say equals 1,900 minus 25, confirming with enter. Then the gap is closed and this is all right. We just need to change the width. We need to extend it from 600 to 625 and then we are well done. Yeah, now we are well done and we can turn off all the measurements and we can turn on the room. Yeah, and now we can also uh, change here the, the textures. Yeah. If you uh, want to change it, you can change it. Yeah, we can also click here on the room and we can set here doors. So here we type in distance uh, left, we say 500 and we drag it and drop it here on the left wall. Yeah, when you want to uh, change it, you can also change afterwards the distance to the left. Yeah, and here for the right side the same. Yeah, here it would be like 2700. So, and here you can also change the material for the door. And you can also do it for the, for the bottom, yeah. You can also create new material sets for it, yeah. All right, yeah, when you have done this, you can also click on the red eye and to show it your customer with, with open fronts. Yeah, now also what I presented to you, a uh, new view is uh, with, uh, with visible, with invisible doors and then with invisible doors and drawers, front drawers, and then you're also with everything, with every front visible. All right. Now we are done for today. I thank you for your attention. And on the beginning of next year, we 
uh, on the 3rd of January, we are still in holidays. And on the 10th of January, we have a team meeting. That's why our next webinar will be in the middle of January. Yeah, you will find it on our homepage. All right. Yeah, I wish you all of you Merry Christmas and uh, Happy New Year. And I'm looking forward to see you next year. So take care and bye bye.